so hello everyone this is the first video tutorial for a piesource.com and what you see here it's PyCharm it's the idol that I'm going to use uh, to build this game with Python uh, but you can use also the normal Python idol just after you download and install Python you have this one and then just click new file and here you can build uh, the code the program but I prefer PyCharm and the dark screen and I'm going to put the link in the description in case you want to download PyCharm and so let's start right now a new project file new project and the game that I want to build today it's called spot the differences so I will call it spot differences and here you choose your interpreter make sure it's uh, Python 3 it can be 3.6 like I have now 3.5 or maybe if there will be already 3.7 or whatever <laughs> but not Python 2 because it it's a bit different and then create okay I have already this directory and I'm going to uh, overwrite it and so here we have the new project and then in the project we need to make a new file, new Python file, and I'm going to call it game. I'm just going to zoom, you don't have to do this one, I'm just going to zoom the screen so that the, the font will be higher for people who are watching it. Increase font size, and again, okay. So first thing we need to import the module pygame using just one line import pygame. I have already pygame installed. If you don't have it, you need to go to file settings and then here project project interpreter and here you should see if there is pygame, I already have it if you don't you need to install it clicking on this green plus and here you can search the module pygame and then you have here and click install package <laughs> and now we can start writing our game first we need to initialize pygame using pygame dot in it then we need to define the screen where we're going to display the game so we call it screen and it will be pi game dot display dot set mode and we're going to pass a tuple with two parameters the first one is the width and for now I'm going to say 320 pixels and this second one is the height 480 next one we can already build the loop that is basically going to run our entire game just writing while true and then by game dot display dot update and basically everything that it's here will be the game everything that we display here inside will be repeated using this while loop um, but we will see slowly how it works without adding many information now and so we can just with these few lines of code uh, start to display our window uh, here just 
click with the right of the mouse and then run game and this is the window where we're going to display our game and as you can see if you change the size we can make 600 of width instead of 320 and you can see it's different uh, just let's just leave it this way for now and this is all see you in the next tutorial